Today we're firing an electron into an electric field, but it's slowing down. As you can see, it's heading towards the negative plate. Common questions could include, describe the motion of the electron, find the final speed of the electron, determine whether or not the electron strikes the negative plate, or determine how far the electron makes it into the electric field. So we're gonna do the most general one, and that is, what happens to the electron. We'll once again explore this from an energy and work perspective. So our first step is to figure out the initial kinetic energy of the electron and the electric field's capacity for doing work. So let's get started. So we've now determined the initial velocity of the electron and the capacity of the electric field to do work. And it's pretty obvious to see the electric field's capacity to do work is much larger than the initial kinetic energy of the electron. So what does this mean? Remember what work is. Work is change in energy. The electron enters with 1.23 times 10 to the minus 17 joules of kinetic energy. And between the plates, the electric field has the capacity to change that energy by a maximum of 8.01 times 10 to the minus 17 joules. So seeing as the capacity of work to be done by the electric field is greater than the energy of the entering electron, at some point in the field, the energy of the electron will become zero. And by energy, we're only considering the kinetic energy of the electron as we consider it as a single object system. So at some point, the electron will become stationary, it'll turn around and it will go back through the gap that it entered through. So let's figure out where the electron turns around. So the question then becomes, how much work must be done on the electron to make it become stationary. If it's going in with a kinetic energy of 1.23 times 10 to the minus 17 joules, the electric field must take out all of that energy so that the kinetic energy becomes zero. So essentially, the work done by the electric field is negative 1.23 times 10 to the minus 17 joules. I usually tell my students to work in magnitudes because their negatives everywhere just kind of confuses everyone. So let's consider the magnitude of work. So we end up with a voltage of 77 volts. This tells us the electron has to go through a potential difference of 77 volts before it comes to a stop. So therefore it becomes stationary when it's at a potential of 500 minus 77 which is 423 volts. So essentially, you can use this equation to figure out the potential difference the electron must move through in order to become stationary. And if that number is less than the voltage between the parallel plates, then the electron will not make it to the parallel plate. So if rather than 500 volts between the plates, it was only 50 volts, that means there is not enough potential difference to slow down the electron. And the electron would strike the plate. Easy peasy, got you some extra marks.